Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to part 6 of my full platinum walkthrough for South Park The Stick of Truth. Right, this is exactly where we left off in the previous video. We're going to be doing Attack the School. Uh, this is kind of just a one-off sort of story mission again. There are missable bits. You can't, I just walked over to that, you can't seem to leave here uh, at this point. So you need to finish this mission before the whole thing opens up again. Um, and we move into day three at the end of this video. So we're just going to go and uh, loot these guys. We're going to go in the side entrance using the goths here. There are quite a few missable things you need to find within the school uh, this time around to make sure you don't miss anything. So first, first thing you want to do is uh, heal this guy. I can't remember this guy. Is it Pete? Is he called Pete? Why do I have Pete in my head? <laughs> I think he was. <laughs> so we just need to uh, get him to unlock that and then we're going inside. And then the first thing we're going to get is a Chin Pokemon, and that's Donkey Tron. He's in the oven here. There, I'm switching. I'm switching. I was wondering what I was doing there. Why? Why was there a, I was switching uh, the farts? You need to switch. Um, Dragon Shout's no good. You need Copper Spell. Copper Spell's the one you're going to be using the most uh, with regards to blowing stuff up. It's the most effective one. So turn the gas on and then blow it up. And get the uh, the chin Pokemon there. There's going to be a, a sort of choice at the end of this mission. Well, it is a choice. It's a straight up choice uh, that all ultimately doesn't lead to anything. But it is a choice when it comes to trophies. So we're going to do a save towards the end and uh, get a specific couple of trophies out of the way. It's the only time we need to do that. And obviously, if you don't do it and you miss it, you have to do a complete half playthrough to get that one. So go to the right here and look for this uh, body in the corner and get the basketball. That's a weapon. And then we're going to get the Dragon Wrath, or Wrath as we would say in the UK, um, trophy. Next. So we're going to do a save once we get past these here. So you can shoot this, uh, this light down here. That's going to shock one of them. And then you can go round and uh, just fight the other two. It's just it's easier. <laughs> And then yeah, this is where this where these um this sign is human keep humans keep out. That's where we're gonna get the Dragon Wrath trophy. Wrath. I think it's supposed to be properly I think properly is supposed to say Wrath, but uh I know very few people that do. So of course the sling of David here. Woke well, that one up unfortunately. I was hoping I'd get the other one, never mind. What do we go with? Oh, we'll go with a bit of uh, Professor Chaos. I think this is one of the best ones that I get this time around. Yeah, I think this is the best one to get. Life Drain. Obviously, you get the life and it does a huge damage to there. That one took 428. I was hoping it would be the other way around, but never mind. Why is he getting two goals? That's no fair. Because <laughs> there's just one more move to the uh, Circumscythe. And then uh, hit him with the swinging. What do we do? Just normal. No, we can't do normal arrow. Uh, normal hammer. Because he's reposting. He would have uh, countered it. So I just need to go down and use a bit of PP potion. And throw a hammer at him, and that should do it. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Right, at this point now, we're going to get a trophy. So you're going to want to make a backup save. So just loot these few here. There's nothing important from these ones. Badges and things like that. I may mess around with badges again in the next video. We're going to have quite a bit to do. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a shorter one. So we'll do some side stuff. So make a backup save here in case anything goes wrong. And uh, you don't need to get rid of this first flame, but it just makes it easier so that you uh, you don't hit it by accident while you're trying to do this because the timing's quite slight. Basically what we're trying to do is hit three, or knock out three enemies with one use of a fart. So we've got to go up here to do that. 
So if we go up to this, uh, make sure that that was close, actually. Uh, if the orange one is stood underneath, that will hit him on the head and knock him out. You don't want to do that. So you want, what you want to do is use a, a sneaky squeaker, get them all three of them to group there, and then use copper smell, copper smell, copper smell, same thing, uh, to blow all three of them up at once to get the dragon's wrath, wrath uh, trophy. If you didn't do it, obviously load up. I think this is one of the very few places, if not the only place you can get this trophy. That's the, I've done this game like three times. Uh, yeah, this is the third time. Uh, and that's the only place I've ever got it. So, yeah, get it done. And then they, they were, they're all very close together, so I'm kind of struggling a bit here. But one of them is carrying the Necromancer's gloves. So make sure you grab those as well. Can be a bit tricky if they're all grouped together like that. But uh, yeah, make sure you get those as well, because they are missable ones. We're going to get the full Necromancer set here in this uh, this mission. So we're going to shoot the sprinklers here. That's going to stop the fan, which is obviously uh, wafting our farts out the way. <laughs> so I'll do another copper spell. Just This is the path you're supposed to go over there. But we're just going to take a quick detour. No, don't use the shoot. It does switching between abilities in this game is not the most intuitive. It can get a bit of a pain. So you're going to want a sneaky squeaker. Get the attention of this rat here. Draw it towards the trap. That was not close enough, unfortunately. We'll do another one. There we go. Saves fighting it. And then we'll come out the vent and we'll get the Poodlesaurus Rex, the Chim Pokemon there. Grab all this crap. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, you can warp up to the top. You can see there's a little bag there. I think it's just a badge that's in here. Yeah, a patch. And then uh, we'll hit this down. So that's going to make us avoid all of the combat. In this area. And we are clear to go downstairs. And there are going to be more gingers. Uh, they don't do the ginger bite. They do a different variation of it. So you should have that trophy anyway. We needed to get that out of the way. And we did. First time we're in the school. Uh, but yeah there's a variation. Because they're not true ginger this time around. Almost missed the locker. There's the locker up there. Some uh, toy car. Need that, of course. Then once you're done, you go downstairs, and there's going to be a cutscene, and you're going to be up against uh, Nazi gingers. <laughs> That's where we're at now. So it's going to bring uh, help. And I'm going to get the weapon proficiency trophy here. That's for getting 100 perfect. You can get that at any point. You might already have it. Uh, yeah, see, I think that he does the, the, the zombie bite, which is different than the uh, kind of ginger one. So, uh, yeah. It wouldn't have counted anyway, had we have waited. We'll just use the sling. I think this fight does take a minute. It's a bit one of the more... Uh, annoying. There we go, weapon proficiency. So that's that trophy out of the way. Don't worry if you don't get it. There's plenty more fighting coming up. And then once we finish the story, you can go and farm it if you need to. There's an infinite spawn of uh, animals in the forest that we've not actually been to yet. We'll do this. What do we get? We get a bit of Chaos Storm. It does well. It gets rid of the um, shields on some of them. So that can help. See, they still do touch of the ginger, but the, the the bite is different this time around. We'll heal Butters. Don't want him. No, not heal. Sorry. Uh, remove his debuff. We don't want him taking too much damage. Butters does do quite a lot of damage with his regular uh, hit now. It, it seems later on, maybe it's when I've leveled up slightly more, it seems he's like doing 400 per hammer, so it's uh, it's quite good. Yeah, it's the shield gone on all of them now, that's good.
Yeah, I'm taking care of the Commandant first. The one at the back, he has the most health. So if I keep throwing things at him, they're going to rebound onto the other two. And you can see one of them is down already. Yeah, 207. Right, that's definitely going to be him down now. And do we have enough to take the last one? I think we're just going to fall short here. I think he's got like 10 left. Or 2 even. 10. <laughs> Come on. I'm going with the Holy Lance and just finish him off. Right. Too soon. Never mind. He was dead already. Doesn't matter. And when you've beaten those, eventually... God, that took a while. Uh, you'll get the Holy Hammer of Smiting. That's going to be an auto uh, pick up. So don't worry about uh, trying to find it. And we'll grab all the extra stuff here. And uh, yeah, move on. So we want to make our way across the floor. But we need to turn this off here. And you do that by coming up to this red wheel. And then you can shorten this fight as well, coming up, coming up by going through the uh, the vent here. So you'll definitely kill one by opening the vent. And then you can use this junction box. You could probably bring both of them to the junction box using the sneaky squeaker, actually. And uh, finish both of them off at the same time but uh, fighting one on his own is it takes like two seconds <laughs> so we'll do that let's go off obviously switch the power off first and then we'll quickly get rid of this guy I think we'll just go with the what do we do the circumcythe and the uh, the spinning hammer, and that'll be it. It'll be done. Yeah, it's this attack of butters that it does quite a lot now. Yeah, 560. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and one of these three should have, or will have, not should have, will have the necromancer robes as well. So don't miss that. We do have a level here. I'm going to fully level up the uh, the scythe at this point, and then I will save the rest of my levels for the final one that's not unlocked yet. So that when whenever we use the circumcythe now, uh, it will make the others puke in the group, which is uh, going to be helpful. I'm going to go into this room now. It does look like there's nothing else in here, but there's actually uh, one of the big game hunting uh, things is in here. So put the alcohol on the... Um, the petri dish petri 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 dish and uh, yeah you're gonna start this fight off it has a lot of health but it it's really weak <laughs> uh, it can i think this one can do the channeling uh, yes it can but um you can't fart on it unfortunately it doesn't affect it so uh, yeah you can't really do any of it so if it does channel unfortunately you're not gonna be able to stop it uh, or work towards the trophy at least anyway We'll just keep doing the uh, circumcise on it. Get that bleed up. Just trying to do as much damage as possible, really, because it doesn't do much itself. Obviously, I'm trying to block as well. Got anything left? No, we'll just use the hammer. That's fine. Yeah, 588 on the hammer now. That's a lot. Should be able to finish it with this. What do we have here? Uh, two of them. Do we finish with just these two attacks? It should be enough. Or no, it, I, think, I bet you it uh, dies on its own thing. Oh no, we got it. Okay. So that was close. The extra damage there. Got it. 
Uh, so yeah, that's going to be big game hunting. Two of six. There's four more to do, so we'll do those as we go around. But well, that's uh, another one out of the way. So it's not missable. You can come into the the school at up until the sort of last mission and uh, grab that. The the big game hunting there. But well, we want to get it out of the way now. Just do a bit of clearing up. I'm not sure why you can obviously can blow this torch up here, but there's no kind of reason to. So, <laughs> I mean, you get the small locket, it might be worth a bit. I've never really noticed. And now we'll go into the main hall. Uh, there's a bit of a glitch happens here. You see the one I'm going to hit here, there. He's actually dead. You see the, the orange one? He's got the glow on him. I hit him with that sign. He's actually dead because <laughs> he's got the, the sort of sparkles. Uh, I mean, he's got items on him, but he still stood up. Um, I thought he was still... I didn't notice the sparkles when I did this. I thought, why the hell didn't that knock him out? He should have done because it landed straight on top of him. So what you're trying to do is avoid uh, dog poo or just poop at this point. <laughs> Flaming dookies, whatever you want to call it. But we also need to use them. So when you get them to the other side here, you need to sort of stand... That was not close enough. Stand close to the uh, the picnic bench and then have your cup of spell ready. So stand here. And one will hit it. There we go. And when it does, quickly cup a spell at it and blow it up. And then, yeah, it's just two of them left here. The other one is actually, you can see now that he is downed, but... Uh, Really, he didn't count. Don't use it on him. No, that one. He's dropped his shield by the looks of it. The circumcise is good against armor because it still kind of cuts through. Or if you do it correctly. I think I completely missed. <laughs> I completely missed the timing on that one, <laughs> I think. So that was a, a bit of a mess. And I'm not going to use a super on him because he's still got the armor and it's no point. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with the timing here. Perfect though, still. It wasn't, but okay. And then we should be able to knock him out with one hammer. Yeah. The good old combo, Butters, and I don't actually know what my name is. Didn't name him, I can't remember. What was it? Douchebag, I suppose. <laughs> Nothing of importance to find here. You can see there, I just looted him while he still stood up. And then you need to uh, use this to break the front door down, let everybody else in. So you need to fart on it and blow everything up. That's it. Hurry, open the door. And that's it. We are done. We're on to the final part of the uh, the final stretch now. We've got two more, two bosses kind of thing. So the first one we've got to do is Stan here. He's simple enough. It's just him and his dog. His dog gets downed pretty quickly. It's not got much health at all. Sparky. If you keep Sparky alive... Uh, Stan won't rage. You'll notice when the, the Sparky goes down that Stan will rage. I don't know whether it would be worth doing that. Yeah, his attack's up. I don't think it makes much difference, to be honest. He is quite hard to parry because he's really quick and he's got a lot of attacks coming your way. But he's still susceptible to bleeding. And hammers to the face. <laughs> yeah, this one will get both of you, which is that's quite a good attack, actually. <laughs> it's not bad at all. I think they need to be perfectly in line, though. It doesn't work uh, if one behind the other...
Yeah, we should be able to get rid of him. One more. Is it one more swing? Or no, I think we're just short again. Six is worse. <laughs> Six HP, come on. Just avoid the discus, and then he goes down to bleeding. And that's why we use bleeding. So when he's downed, eventually he does a little dramatic thing here. Just checking there's no lockers. Nope. You're going to want to loot his body and gets the slashing blade of the ranger. And then uh, we just got to go upstairs and free a few friends along the way and work the final fight. Some more general crap. And then we're going to do this fight here. I think it's Tweak there, isn't it? We need to save him. So normal. Most of the fights are just going to look like this now, to be honest. I'm not going to skip any of the fights because in case you struggle for whatever reason or you're following along exactly, I don't know what you're doing. Um, so I won't be skipping any of the fights because, uh, yeah, I said I'd be doing everything, showing everything. So that's what i got to do. What do we get on Chaos this time? Oh, Lightning, that's not too bad. Chaos Storm. Knocks two of them out. That works for me. That wasn't very good. <laughs> Just didn't block at all. I want to use the Holy Lance here. No? Oh, no. We'll, yeah, this is the one. We've got. This is where it cuts through, doesn't it? Yeah, so he still gets the bleed and it completely wipes out. Uh, any shield as well. It's really good, the Circumcised against shield. And we'll just use a quick PP. And uh, hit him with the hammer. And that's going to be enough. Yes? No? No. Uh, nearly. He will die to bleed, though, in a moment. Then once he's down, you want to loot one of these. We'll have it. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which one. It might be different. This one. There you go. <laughs> As the Necromancer hood. So that's all of the Necromancer sets now. You should have that complete. And then there's a locker up here. You want to open it and then throw whatever. Shoot it down. That's Chim Pokemon Teradakan. I Yep, yeah, something like that. <laughs> loot the rest of these along the way. It's like a... Oh. Proper war zone, just children strewn everywhere. <laughs> uh, this one, this fight here, we're going to get a couple of friends for doing this one, so we need to do this, Bill and Foss. Uh, yeah, very simple fight, it's just the two guys here. Might as well use the hammer. Bit overkill, but... Yeah, I want to get the job done. Get out of here, get moving. And that should be enough to finish him. Okay, and once both of those are done, you're going to get Bill and Foss as your friends automatically. And then we're moving on to the final kind of boss for this mission, which is either Cartman or Kyle. And that's the thing we need to choose. But we'll do a save just before choosing, and uh, we'll come back and do the opposite trophy. So we'll get a trophy, KKK Hero. That is for doing Kyle, for fighting against Kyle. So going to the final hallway. There is stuff in this fifth grade ba uh classroom couldn't remember the word there so we'll get that afterwards so don't worry about that just yet uh, but do a backup save that's extremely important do a backup save now so do a regular save should i say it doesn't need to be about you don't need to put it on the cloud and then go into this room and there's going to be a cutscene, and they'll argue back and forth cartman and kyle and you'll need to make a choice so you need to hit the one that you want to fight so we'll do kyle first and then you're just going to walk up to him, hit him, and then it'll start the fight off. And um, they're easy enough fights, to be honest. It's one-on-one. -on -one. 
So Circumcythe is good. So, well, yeah, just go up, hit him. Uh, we don't actually need to defeat them. They try and do a super, and we just need to rebound that, which is simple enough. It's just tapping the button. And, uh, yeah, that'll be the end of the fight. So we'll just do a bit of bleed first. He's going to throw. The, I think they always do the same set of uh, attacks. So that first one kind of tries to stick you to the floor. We'll do the sling because that'll do quite a lot of damage. Over a thousand now. And then he's going to kick the baby. <laughs> this one's good to uh, parry because it looks funny. <laughs> oh yeah, it didn't actually realise it hits him there. Never noticed that before. And then we'll do the final one. This is enough to make him do his super, which is weirdly a leaf blower. I don't know if there's some reference there I'm not getting. But all you have to do is keep tapping X. And then uh, it's going to wipe him out completely, finish him, do like 9,000 damage or something. Yeah, <laughs> nearly 10,000 damage. And then you'll get the KKK Hero Trophy. So... That's that one done. There's going to be a cutscene, and as soon as the cutscenes have all finished and that, or you can skip them and watch them the next time if you want. So skip all the cutscenes, and then you'll be outside the house here. Load the game, and do the one you've just done. So for me, it's this one here, slave slot, slate, <laughs> save slot twelve, uh, and then you'll be back here again. So you will need to pick things up. This is why we didn't get the stuff in the fifth grade classroom, but there is actually a friend in here we need to do, and that's Lemmy Winks. So go in here, get Lemmy Winks. And then uh, open all this up. Some extra nonsense in here that we'll probably never use. Lemmy Winks, Foss and Bill. And then we'll go and do the exact opposite this time. So we'll go in, the cutscene. And then we'll uh, fight Cartman. And the, the fight goes exactly the same as it just did with Kyle. They are pretty much the same. Obviously they use different moves, but... All you have to do is get them down to kind of half health or last three attacks. I, I think it's just on the third attack they do the special. But uh, you want to do as much damage anyway. So this time hit Cartman. And he really don't, doesn't like that. <laughs> and yeah, you can. I think we actually do more damage to Cartman than we did to uh, Kyle. So this one's quite hard to parry this shower of ice. He comes up behind you with a, a cooler. And uh, yeah, there is there is one there. You can parry it, but the timing is uh, quite difficult on that one. I'll just cure this uh, slowdown. Then he, I think he hits you with the... Uh, Kind of flaming fart attack next, flame spray. Yeah, no, not the the fart is the 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 final, the ultimate one. See, I think we're gonna get him sub three thousand here. Right now he'll do his special, which is the uh, like a super fart, <laughs> and you just need to do exactly the same thing. Just send it back his way. And then he's going to take nearly 10,000 damage, and that'll be it. And you'll get the Elven Hero Trophy. So that's the both kind of missable ones. I know there are other missable things going on, but uh, with regards to doing another playing through just for a certain trophy, that's that one done. Uh, so the cutscene, obviously watch it through this time, and then you'll be outside the house here. And we'll be on level 10. Now I'm actually going to go over here and have a look. We don't actually have this plague yet so once we get to a level 11 then that will start and we can start using the plague and I'll start leveling that up so I'm actually just going to leave this upgrade point for now uh, I don't really use the dreidel and then we're going to run home uh, speak to the parents and that's it so that's attack the school done the mission done so we're going to leave it so this is just kind of one of those little missions where you just need to go back home again uh, I'm not going to sleep because it'll instantly start another mission like it has done all the previous times. This time with the underpants gnomes, so that's where the underpants will come in handy. Uh, so that will be the next video, underpants gnomes, and a bit of tidy up because it is fairly short, the underpants gnome bit. So um, that's what we're going to be doing. So all I'm doing here is I'm just 
going home, I'll go upstairs and make a save and that's it and then we'll pick it up like we do in the next video and uh, carry on. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.